What's up guys, my name is Chris. Welcome to my channel. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about something that is real, super important, and fun at the same time, right? We're gonna take a step back from dogging Biden and dogging the, <laughs> the local politics at the moment. And I wanna to talk to you guys about some real shit. I wanna to talk to you about life. I wanna to talk to you about dreams. I wanna to talk to you about success. I wanna to talk to you about not being average, all right? And for those of you that don't know, I've been an entrepreneur for coming on 14 years. Uh, I've done about eight figures in revenue at an average sales price point of $100 per sale. So uh, that's pretty ridiculous when it comes to entrepreneurship and it's pretty good. However, I don't think I'm anything special. I've employed hundreds of people, I've built jobs, I've built businesses, five businesses of my own, not including uh, the people that I work with and their businesses. I've donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to causes. Sometimes in a year I donate more than most Americans make. I don't say these things to make people think I'm special because I'm not. I'm just a regular fucking dude and that's the truth. But I've also experienced a lot of problems and trip ups and um, you know been dragged along the bottom uh, during my career. We're gonna talk about that and we're gonna talk about what I've done to rebuild and that's read a book. So I'm gonna tell you about the book before we get into it. Guys, do me just, do me just a favor, right? Just do me a favor, smash that like button and consider subscribing. I appreciate you. Let's get into it. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Heavy entry, I know. And for those of you that don't know, all right, this show has been on for over three years. We have taken it in many different directions and the most recent direction is really putting out reality for everyone with a like mind or anyone looking to learn what's actually happening in the world, in the country, locally, in the state. I've received a lot of heat for it, dogging the governor, dogging the president, dogging agencies. I don't really fucking care. What I care about is getting a message out, all right? my I care about providing value. I care about helping people. And I've been providing value and helping people in every capacity that my skills are decent for almost 14 years now. And uh, you know, today we're going to talk about a lot of things, but we're going to talk about the book that I recently put out as of last week. The reason why I wrote the book, <sighs> shit, and that uh, you can listen to it for free. It's not even about you buying it. I mean, but of course, if you want to support me and the show and the cause and potentially learn some shit, you can. But more importantly, let's talk about how the book came to be, all right? So I've, I've been on a wild roller coaster my entire life, let alone my entrepreneurial journey. And um, <laughs> I've experienced serious highs and I've experienced serious lows. Any entrepreneur can relate to that. It's a, it's a drastic uh, degree of separation at times. And you know, like, I used to be scared of the low times, the bad times, and like do everything I could to avoid them. And somewhere along the journey, I realized it's just a part of it. I mean, think about it. Such is life, right? Life is life. Is life. It's fucking pain in the ass. It will, it will fucking kick you in the dick when you don't expect it with no remorse and continue to kick you in the fucking dick regardless of the circumstances. You know, and the key to life, let alone being an entrepreneur, 
is just rolling with it. It's all how you deal with getting kicked in the dick. You either wear a cup and are able to move to not take the full blow of the kick, or you lay on the fucking ground after you got kicked in the dick and you whine about why life is so hard, wah, 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 point the finger at everybody else, be all fucking upset and pissed off, or you just learn how to roll with it. And that is not only fundamentally, theoretically, philosophically life and entrepreneurship, but is also what I teach in my book. Practical ways to basically own your shit, deal with life, and be a great fucking person, which will yield excellence over the course of time of applying it. So, you know, long story short, for those of you that don't know, the past 14 years consisted of me getting out of the military, going to community college, uh, becoming a personal trainer, which started my personal brand and my first business, competing in the fitness industry. I got smoked on the national level in the fitness industry, like smoked. I was competing against guys that have like millions of followers now on socials and like were on magazine covers and like, uh, you know, shit like that. And, you know, my body is good, but it's not to that level of these dudes. So I stopped competing. Um, and anyone who's listening who has competed, it's fucking hard to get on stage. It's really hard. And you get there and you get smoked and it's like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> okay. But that's not the point. Built, continued to build my business. And while I was building my business, I was working as a bartender. I was working as a security guard. I was going to school and running my business. Did undergrad, did grad school, you know, had some, had some big highs, you know, bought my first house at like 26, had my first brand new car at 27. Um, and it was like a $50,000 car. So, you know, at 27 years old, got a house and a brand new car, you know, running around, you know, making six figures plus doing well, right? Still in school. Uh, I had this dream of owning a gym. A lot of you know me watching this through the gym. I was 31 when I purchased the gym, when I opened the gym. I was 31 when my world got flipped upside down about employment. 32 is when I realized I didn't want to be a gym owner for the rest of my life. And, you know, the, the gym was monster success. I mean, all of a sudden my company was multi-million dollar company. It was worth millions of dollars, changed my financial status. It changed my income. It changed my ability to have empathy for people. I just, I had to learn how to be empathetic more so. Uh, I learned so many soft skills. I learned the true definition of selflessness and I had been to war and I thought I was selfless. Uh, I learned so much. I learned how to talk to people. I learned customer service. I learned financials. I learned marketing. I learned shit. I learned how to fucking run a business. We, uh, we took home some coveted awards. We changed thousands of people's lives. Yeah, we did a lot of shit. And uh, I think that was probably the height of my, um, like my, my career. Uh, eight years in or something along those lines. I guess what I'm getting at is I, I realized while I was uh, owning four businesses at this point, I had built four businesses, all profitable, 
doing well financially, but I was like empty. I was empty that I didn't have fulfillment. I didn't have purpose. There's a huge difference between passion and purpose. Huge fucking difference. And I've shot shows on it. Feel free to look for it on my channels. But like, it doesn't matter how much money you make and how great your abs look and you know, whatever, like how many women you're with or not with or the car you're driving, the watch you're wearing, how big your house is. I've been through all that. I'm here to tell you that it's not about that shit. What it's about is fulfillment. Can you look yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and be like, you know what, what I'm doing is means something. You know, what I'm doing is letting me sleep well at night. What I'm doing is good for other people. Regardless of if you're an entrepreneur or you work within a company, all right? Listen, if you work within a company and have an entrepreneurial mindset, you're gonna fucking be at the top of your company. But regardless of your employment status, purpose is fundamentally what you're here for on this earth. And I think it was around 2018, I decided to open a business consulting firm, if you will. However, I talked myself out of it for two years. And it wasn't until 2020 that I went full assed into it. My fifth company at this point, I was 34 years old, I think. 34? Yeah, I was 34. And the irony is the same month that I launched my fifth business to fulfill my purpose as a teacher, teacher of life, teacher of entrepreneurs, the overreaching aspect of the local government mandated us to close my gym because it was non-essential. Now, I'm not here to talk about how fucking ridiculous an executive order is, how it's not a law, or how a gym and your fundamental proactive health is actually the answer, not a um, vaccination, right? That's not the answer, guys. Like, I, I don't care if you fucking agree with me or not, you're wrong, all right? Proactive health, having immune system, being healthy, you don't get sick, regardless of a pandemic that 99.97 people live from, live from, live from, live from 99.97 along those lines worldwide or not proactive health, but home Depot and Walmart could stay open essential business, but your, your local gym got to close down. Not essential for here, for your health. Right. Okay. Outside of all that, the same month that I decided to open my fifth company and fulfill my purpose as a teacher, I had to close my business, my biggest business down, which inevitably was the Achilles heel, and I had to close it down for good. During the time of closing down my biggest business, I had a lot of free time. Now, don't get me wrong, I was still working my ass off, but I had a lot of free energy. I had a lot of free time to put into another project because I wasn't managing 60 people, thousands of employees, and everything that comes along with it. And if you've never managed 60 people and had thousands of employees, you cannot conceptualize what that's like. And that is small business. I know people 10 times bigger than that. And they'll be like, yo, Chris, if you've never managed a thousand people, you'll never conceptualize it. And they're right, because I've never managed a thousand people, all right? And no one's talking down to anybody. I'm just saying, if you've never been in that decision-making, okay, or in that position, you do not understand it. Just like I have never had a child, I will never fundamentally understand the pain, the process, or really anything other than, wow, that's fucking amazing that your body could do that. Same thing. But regardless of 
people's ability to do things or what they've done in life. I began writing and I began writing a book that was, would have been my autobiography. But I realized probably like 30 pages in that, why am I going to write an autobiography? Like no one gives a shit what I've done. <laughs> so I stopped and I started rewriting my success system, how I found success in life. Now, before I go on, people consider me successful and call me successful often. But you know what? I don't. I don't. I'm just a regular dude. I just fucking get up every day and do the best that I possibly can. And half the battle, fundamentally, if you're looking for success and listening to this show, half the battle of success is just getting up and fucking doing it. Even if you suck at it. My first podcast, go back and listen to it. It fucking sucked. And listen, I don't think I'm some professional podcaster, but three years later, I figured it out. All right? Half the battle is just fucking showing up. So anyways, I started writing this book. I started writing it about my success system. And I focused on the biggest seven biggest lessons that I learned primarily as an entrepreneur, but fundamentally in life. Seven. And I wrote it in this guide of how to utilize these lessons, these seven lessons for yourself, to apply it to yourself, take the lessons and apply it to your life, right? And, um, you know, the biggest pieces to this system that I wrote, right? You're responsible for all the bullshit in your life. It's your fault. It's your responsibility. 99% of the time. A good morning routine. Really good morning routine. Leisure time. Spend it with your friends. Spend it with your family. Do your hobbies. Have fun. But work hard. Be a good person. Fundamentally, just be a good person. Do the right thing. Clean the piss off the seat when you fucking dribble on it. Today, personally, today, today, today is the day after Halloween. We're recording this. On my morning walk that usually lasts about 45 minutes, which is like three miles or so, I didn't count, but I probably picked up 50 wrappers of candy and put them in trash cans. They're not my candy. I didn't eat any candy last night. I just passed it out. I'm on my morning walk. I see a wrapper on the ground. I picked it up. And you know what? I teach that. And that's one of the lessons that I teach. But you know something? I also didn't pick up probably like five or six wrappers, right? Because for whatever reason, I missed it. I saw it as I walked past it. I didn't turn around, pick it up. There wasn't a trash can, something. But I picked up 50 others. Doing the right thing is half the battle. In all of these lessons, oh, let me back up. Another lesson is when to let go in life. When it's time to cut people out, move on, shit like that in business and life. In all of these lessons, I learned the hard way. I learned by fucking up. I learned by not being a good person. I learned by hanging on too long. I learned by not taking responsibility and pointing the finger at everybody else. I learned by not having a morning routine. And just to put it in perspective, not having a morning routine, I personally was bringing in north of six figures in money, okay? After implementing a morning routine, north of seven figures. That's the difference. Talk to any high performer. They have some sort of morning routine. The one that I teach isn't necessarily best, but I'll tell you what, it works, it's proven. 
and I wrote it into words. And while I was writing these words, right, I faced that I had to close my dream. Everything that I had worked for, everything that I had accomplished at 31 years old, and I had to. I had to let go of the team that I built over four years. And if you've built teams as an entrepreneur, you understand how vitally important that statement is because team building is, is the key. I realized that I was going to have to tell the world. And, uh, you know, at that very moment of realization, all within a month, all within a month, this is within a month of having that realization. And before I closed it, someone that I was dating, right, just took off, just took off and then closed the communication. A mentor that I was working with fired me. And then I closed everything, the biggest business that I had. So that sequence of events, you know, accepting a seven figure loss, <laughs> four years, countless energy and time, sent me to a pretty dark place. And I learned this like really important um, lesson in that dark place 12 years into my journey was when things get tough and people don't have anything to take from you, they're nowhere to be found. They don't fucking care. They don't give a shit. They don't. Your friends, your acquaintances, your audience, your followers, a lot of them won't care. And maybe six people, six people were there for me. Maybe six. So being the person has always helped everybody else and like, bent over backwards for other people and just put a lot of good out. I could have gotten really cynical about other people and been like, you know what? Fuck these people. But that's not what I'm about. I just looked at it as a lesson. And the interesting thing about it is the book published about a year after that dark place. And it could have been a little sooner, but you know, it's just happened to be about a year. And this interesting thing is happening again. People are beginning to reach back out to me. I knew you would be okay. I knew you'd make something of yourself again. I like, good for you, Chris. I'm so proud of you. Let's meet up, you know, blah, 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 this, that, everything else. And anyone who's had success stumbled a bit, dragged their fucking face along the bottom and had to climb their way out of that dark place in the bottom and do something, you know what I'm talking about. And that's the lesson. You don't open the door for those people. You don't. Not close to you. You, know, you, can, you could talk to them and be like, yeah, thank you. But you don't let them in your house. You're not spending time with them. You could answer them. Be like, yeah, thanks, man, or thanks, appreciate that. But that's, that's a big lesson. And uh, yeah, that's not the point to this show. You know, the point to this show is the book. And the book is what brought the spotlight back. And over that year, I worked, and my team and I worked, Incredibly hard, incredibly. And 
the interesting part about it was the things we were building, we weren't really selling. We were just building the foundation of the second half of my journey, the second decade I've been in business, not the first. And if you're listening to this and you're in your first decade of business, all right, doing your thing, fucking average life, building something, keep going. Don't let the people cloud your mind. Don't doubt yourself. You can do it. I didn't even read a book in high school. I failed out of college at 19 years old with a cumulative GPA of point, point 0.73. I wrote a book. And it's not short. <laughs> well, it's kind of short. I mean, it's average, okay? All right, it's average. It's six. I mean, it's 140 pages. <laughs> it's average length, okay, guys? It's average. Is that what guys say? Is that what they say? Yeah. No, that's not what I say. <laughs> Anyways, listen. I'm here to help as many people that want to be helped. I'm here to provide as much value as I possibly can. Inside these pages is millions of dollars worth of knowledge. Millions of dollars worth of knowledge. All right? It's not about making that money back. It's about providing fucking value. Okay, and I'm on a mission in this second decade to not only build, but affect humanity. I want these words in front of other countries, people, Americans specifically, but other countries, and I will do it. I don't stop. You cannot stop me. You can't. I've never met a single person, a single business, a single opponent, a single combatant that's ever been able to stop me. I don't stop. You will not stop me. And if there are people listening that have tried, and people have tried, oh, people have tried to stop me. From motherfuckers trying to kill me in war to people strategically trying to take my business down on purpose because they heard the word no from me. From top level jujitsu practitioners in the country, choke them out in 17 seconds. No one can stop me. And when you adopt that mindset, that you're a fucking winner and you will not be stopped and you stop listening to all these idiots in your life and start listening to other people that have similar dreams, make more money than you and have done more shit, you gotta qualify the people you listen to. And the money is not everything. But if someone's making more money than you, their business is bigger than you and you look up to them, you should fucking listen to them. If they're fucking idiots and they're sitting around jerking off and drinking beer on the weekends, okay, complaining about life, you shouldn't be listening to them. You shouldn't. And you know what? The point is, and what I'm getting at is, this fucking book will teach you if that's what you want more out of life, if you want to dream bigger, create more, and fuck average, that's what this book's about. And it's a proven system that not only I had to live through, lose millions, spend millions, but teach students who are applying it and changing their lives. And this isn't some fucking sales pitch. Let me tell you something. Listen, first things first, if you wanna buy this, listen, I appreciate you, big time. Big time. As I shoot this show, I am currently ranked above Gary fucking Vanderchuk. 
on Amazon of the entrepreneurial new releases category. And it's because of you guys that have bought this book and put reviews up of this book, we are, okay? But it's not about buying the book. If you do, I love you and thank you for the support. If you can't afford this, okay? It's $12.99 for the paperback. Send us an email, all right? I'll give you the ebook for like 99 cents, I think I have to charge, or $1.99 or something. And if you don't have $1.99 for this, but really want it, I'm gonna record it verbally, the entire book, and put it here on YouTube for free. So you understand, I'm here to provide value. I'm here to change lives, and I wanna help you. If you want the help, okay, the book will be free on YouTube. If you've only got a couple bucks and you really want this, I'll have directions in the show notes on how to get a hold of it, the ebook. And if you want the paperback with this strikingly handsome guy, I could sign it for you, do whatever you want, all right? The link will be in the show notes. And if you do that, I appreciate you. But I just want you to know that regardless of you buy this paperback or not and support me, my cause, my mission, our community, our tribe, our vision, I appreciate you and your support regardless. But I wanted to deliver this show for you to understand how this book came about, why I wrote this book, and how it's the start of four more to come. All right, guys. I know, I know, I know. I, I'm raw, I'm rough, I'm direct, I'm straight to the point, but you know what? The world needs more of that. Needs more people like me, needs more people like you. And if you think like this, okay, and you like this message, guys, all I ask, regardless of you buying the book or not, all I ask, smash that like button and consider subscribing. I got a shitload of great content coming up for you. All right, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your support. I'm just here to provide value, change some lives, and have some fun. I'll catch you next time.